Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Salat Tisna. You're watching That Car Guy. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at the all new facelifted Desire. Well, recently, around a week ago, I got one for myself. And there she is over right there. And she's getting washed. It's really dirty right now. But it's going to be detailed. And I'm going to share with you guys what it's like. I mean, the new facelifted Desire is a very popular car in the Indian market. So I'm going to share what this car is like to own, drive, how it feels, what all has happened with the facelift, everything in very detailed. So this is going to be a very detailed review of the new facelifted Desire. Here at AutoStream, a couple of good friends of mine own this place. They're really busy on a Sunday. So I'm not going to bother them too much, but let's just see what they have to offer. We've got air fresheners, uh, <laughs> wheel cups, all of these goodies. And basically they do the best detailing job in Cochin district. So that's why I got my car over here. And yeah, she is looking really nice. So, let's get into the video. So guys, let's start off with the facelift itself. Now this grill is the major facelift which has happened. It resembles an Audi grill in some kind of a way, but looks really smart and premium in this car. And the shade is called Oxford Blue Metallic. So there is a metallic effect on the paint. It looks really nice. And uh, we have a Suzuki logo in the front. We have these slats for the air dam inside the grill, a number plate holder, we have integrated fog lights. This is the ZXI variant again. So it comes with the fog lights from factory. We have this chrome blade over here, which is really, really nice. Um, surrounding the fog lights, a really nice design element. And the headlights, these are basic halogen headlights. In the ZXI Plus variant, you do get projector headlights with LED lights, which is a white light. Now this is a normal halogen setup over here with reflectors. And over to the hood, it is a very wide, flat hood. Uh, it has a kind of a bulge over here, but it's very subtle. You can't find anything sharp or racy or sporty. It is a very subtle, rounded off car. It is not aggressive at all. The only aggressive bit is the front grille, which is all new. And uh, to the sides and all, we have the wheel arches, which are kind of bulged out to give it a little bit of a wide body effect. You can see that it bulges out towards the sides and the doors go in so you have a little muscular effect on the wheel arches over there and uh, coming to the sides we have 15 inch alloy wheels on this car which is um, let's see it is 185 65 r15 bridgestone tires over here with this 15 inch alloy wheel which really looks nice now on the zxi plus variant you do get a diamond cut finished alloy which personally i don't like that much and on the lower trims you get 14 inch wheels so this is a happy medium in between and up from there we have the side ORVMs with integrated indicators which is really nice it's auto folding and um, over here we have a cladding over here which is extra from our, the genuine accessories and uh, the whole shape like i said there's no power lines or there's no cuts or creases it's just a big curvy car it's a the whole car is curved there's no straight angles, there's nothing like that. It's a very rounded car. This car also has an easy entry access. Uh, there's a button, there are buttons on uh, both the front door handles. Just press it and uh, the car unlocks. And uh, press it again, the car locks. So basically you just have to keep this in your pocket and you can lock and unlock your doors. That's a pretty handy feature. And over to the back, the tail lights look really nice. Uh, we have LED bars over here inside this place and the indicators and the reverse light are normal typical bulbs This really looks nice. I love the design of this tail light. It is really nice. The fuel door over there it is a big circle again It's like there's no straight angles in this car. Normally the fuel doors on most cars are square. This is round it Just goes well with the whole theme of the car of being rounded and curved 
and uh, over here we have the desire badging now somewhere between 2020 and 19 maruti decide to debadge their cars so there's no maruti suzuki badge anywhere on this car it's just a big suzuki logo over here and desire and there's no model kind of a thing like vxi is it xi there used to be a badge over here in previous cars now onwards all of the new cars don't have any model badge so that's kind of good in sense that uh, the car looks cleaner there's minimum amount of badges over here so that makes the car look really nice and the boot again we have a small duck tail action over here where the boot rises up like that that looks really nice in my opinion we have a little bit of a power line going here from the c pillar all the way to the boot that is also very nice we have reflectors over here in the bumper we do get parking sensors on this car as standard and the camera is something i got installed from the dealership itself under warranty so that is basically the back end of the desire now the boot is pretty spacious we have 378 liters of boot space on offer and this is a very huge box and even if even when this box is here there is lot of space so three bags no problem in this car and you might be wondering what this box is well this is just a teaser to my next video which is going to be the installation of projector headlights the izrxi version headlights on this car so stay tuned for that video so guys welcome to the interior of the all new facelift desire and it is a very nice bright place to be the beige with the black and the pale wood really looks nice this pale wood uh, it's a lighter shade of wood it's not actually wood it's just a trim option well uh, the older swift before the facelift it used to have a darker shade of wood but now it is this pale light wood which is really looking nice and i find this kind of a uh, treatment of wood in the newer volvos so it's an excellent choice of trim and uh, let's start off with the key guys well this is the key to the new desire this is the zxi variant so you get this smart key fob uh, the lower versions you get a normal key with central locking central locking is standard on this car but in the higher trims you do get this kind of a key fob basically you keep it anywhere in the car you start the car with the push button start over here foot on the brake and uh, it started up and now she comes to life now let's get into the steering wheel now the steering wheel of this car is very nice it has a flat bottom steering wheel which is really race inspired but kind of pointless in this car because this car is not at all racy but uh, does give you a very sporty feel and this like i said is the zxi variant so you get a leather wrapped steering wheel which is really premium and the stitching and all is It's of really good quality, guys, and you do get spaces for your thumb. So if you're driving, you do get this um, grippy holding position. The steering wheel is not too thick; it's not too thin either. It's the right size for a steering wheel, and to drive and to hold, it really feels nice. And uh, the gauge clusters are really, really premium. Like all of the dials, the fonts used are very crisp, very clean, and. Um, you do get a tachometer on the left a speedometer on the right and in the center you do get a small mid display from which you can change with these uh, small toggles these are really old school toggles but uh, you can change things like range kilometers to empty average again over here is for the trip information you press this it's your trip a trip b your kilometers basically a very small functional uh, mid and it also acts as a gear shift indicator it's not a gear shift indicator but shows you the gear you're in now right now we are in neutral if i pull it down it shows one and each gear it changes like 1d right now if i go forward it's like 2d 3d as the gears go it shows you which gear you're in that's a very handy feature and uh, you do get airbags on this car like i said uh, two airbags one for the driver and one for the passenger that's a very nice feature and you get audio control buttons this is for the volume this is seek this is mute and over here you have controls for your bluetooth telephony controls um that's pretty nice this car has bluetooth so you can speak freely or stream music <laughs> without any wires needed and uh, let's get into this touch screen display it is a 7 inch touch screen uh, infotainment display system which is uh, really nice looks really sharp uh, it has good contrast and it is it is smart 
um, you can play around with the icons like this <laughs> I really like that a lot and uh, you have your time and date over here if you swipe it like that it's your average mileage and distance to empty that's a very nice feature you can pull it down like an android device and you can get your pad devices any good stuff like that over here you can go to settings uh, time display everything is right over there you can also get maps in this I'll just show you it's basically running off my iPhone so you get maps and the maps and all are huge uh, coming down from that we have the climate control display over here it has again a small nice display which looks really premium and all of these buttons and all look really premium really nice even the button action and all is really something else guys it's not like a typical maruti suzuki product it feels really premium you can see the chrome uh, ring on these it looks really posh these are the details i look for in a car and that this car <laughs> it has surprised me in many ways so that's just a small thing which i find very interesting and very premium and we do have uh, a 12 volt power socket we have a uh, usb and aux over here we have a space for your phone we have two cup holders over here coming down from that we have the gear lever and this car is an ags that is maruti's terminology for automatic and basically drive neutral to the right and up is reverse and in this car i have installed a backup camera it does not it did not come from the factory this was an accessories install so yeah it's a very nice camera it's kind of clear but it gets the job done and uh, the another fun thing about this car is when you're in drive and if you feel like going a bit faster if you feel like being a little more sporty you can push it to the left then you have manual control and this is the proper way of manual like plus is down and minus is up now this is the correct shift pattern normally in volkswagens and audis and most of the cars they do it the wrong way like plus is up and minus is down this is the real the correct motorsport way of shifting a sequential gearbox plus is always down minus is always up that's just a bit of information for you guys and uh, from there we have the handbrake here it's a manual handbrake with some space over here to keep change and to the back we have another 12 volt socket for the rear passengers if they want to charge their phones another phone storage holder here it's kind of deep not too deep but uh, yeah phones definitely and uh, coming up from that we have the seats which are really wide now it's a really wide seat it's a very comfy seat um, we have this uh, design over here which is really nice really premium and uh, the door pockets again the black and beige combination really shows off really good we have one liter bottle holders in every door even in the back so that is really nice over here we have um, auto fold for the mirrors and uh, power adjusted mirrors all around this is for your um, window locks this is for your door locks and uh, these are the power window controls and only the driver window is powered down and power up so guys that was the front half of the um, suzuki desire now let's go and see what the back seats are like now this place is really really nice uh, like the, like i said the color combination really helps make this car feel very airy and spacious and um, yeah uh, for uh, three people in the back it should be really nice although it is ideally made for two you can squeeze three people in the back you do have an armrest with cup holders over here that's pretty handy i have put a child seat on the back so one whole seat is taken up for the child seat and uh, me being a very fat guy another person can sit here comfortably and um, space this is set to my driving position and i have this much of space this is set all the way back and you can still see there is space even if the front seat is all the way back there is space there and this is really nice you have an ac vent over here in the back with fan controls over here and this is throwing a really good amount of air to my face it is adjustable it has two compartments one here and one here so that both of your passengers can enjoy air that is really nice and again the door pads everything is really nice i like this chrome treatment on it's not real chrome it's plastic painted chrome but it does make this car feel really premium and um, yeah you do get an armrest over here it's nice although i would have really liked to see some kind of a fabric incorporation over here it's just plastic all around 
that is the only let down on the interior but uh, that can be done after market i guess uh window area and all is huge in this car man it is really nice space you do really feel spacious and airy in this car compared to its competition like the amazon or feels cramped back here this i feel like a king So I hope you liked today's video. If you did, please write in the comment section below what you think. Like this video, share this video with your friends, and uh, do subscribe, guys. It means a lot to me. And a huge thank you and shout out to my friends at Popular Services and Vehicles once again for their support and for their role in basically me getting this car so fast. And uh, yeah, all of the thanks in the world could not go out to them. So please do call them on this number if you're looking for a Maruti car. And my friends at AutoStream for their detailing and car washing expertise. So yeah, it is a very very nice video in general. I'm feeling really happy, guys. And uh, like always, guys, we'll catch you pretty soon with another video. Till then, goodbye and God bless.